is so annoying. Say grow up, but I know that you won't. I don't understand why it's so hard. You either want to be with me or you don't. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place that I call the mental house. And with me, your host to be. You know, y'all. I know that we are supposed to be striving, striving. So whatever diaspora that you are, let me say this first. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the new subscribers. I appreciate the subscribers that have been here from day one. Tommy, Yanni. There's so many of you guys that have just been here for day one. I don't see you all the time, but every once in a while you'll pop your heads in and let me know that you're still out there rocking with me. And I so appreciate you. I really do. I really, really, really appreciate you. And you just don't know how much. I love y'all. But this right here might ruffle a few feathers because I can't try to be politically correct with this. I just got to be as honest as I possibly can. You know, and I've been on the planet long enough now where I can make an assessment. And I know I'm right. I don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> I haven't seen too much. I I know I don't have to worry about it. And you know, from the madness of the critical race theory, from the madness of uh, white folks' inability to deal with their history and the history of America allows me to further know that you can't fix what you can't face. But what I will assure you, I'll promise you, you can't go on like this. You cannot go on trying to erase a people out of history. That how what makes you think you can pull that off? And so you remove the books in Florida. And all you're doing is hurting the people in the children of Florida because they're dumb. You're dummy. you letting this one man dummy down the whole state because of his racism, his mental illness. Because I really do believe that racism is a mental illness. Not only is it a pandemic, it's really a mental illness. When you look at these uh, books, especially like the book White Fear from Roland Martin, excellent book, or White Like Me by Tim Weiss, or White Fragility by Robin DiAngelo, or Jacqueline Battalora, and all the white folk that try to get a grip on this and ease the fall for their fellow white citizens. Because see, now I'm talking in black and white because sometimes some of y'all are afraid to talk black and white. You want to just paint everything with a brush of, uh, oh, well, it's about this. No, this country was built on race and it's going to be destroyed by race if we don't get it together. If you think people are going to sit back and allow you to erase them off the planet, off the face of the earth, off the diaspora, then I'll know that not only are you devils, that's the most devilish thought I've ever heard, you, it, it, you can't pull it off. You can, your lies will come up under some scrutiny and people are going to reject black and white your insanity. What Ron DeSantis is doing down in Florida is just absolutely insane. And if white folk are so great and the history is so pure and good, why don't you teach it the way it is? Why are you lying and saying you taught us skills when in fact the slave is in reverse? The slave taught you skills. You wouldn't work. You were lazy. 
Now, who are your blacksmiths? Who are your steel benders? These were black people. You didn't teach us nothing. We taught you. We fed you. We fed your babies. And now you want to sit up here, you ungrateful sacks of shit, and want to get behind a, a freaking Adolf Hitler wannabe and destroy humanity because you're afflicted with the disease of racism. I don't know, but y'all people in Florida need to get this together. Not only in Florida, people all over America need to wake up. I mean, I know black people got problems, and so do white people. But I know who I would expect to have more problems if they were done the way black, the way we were done, castrated, hung from the stake, burnt alive, babies cut out of us, Jim Crow, red line. So who should be crazy? Then y'all are the ones that are supposed to be so smart. And you mean to tell me you nothing, all you do is lie? Lie, lie, lie? How can you depend? How can you trust a government that says that they stand for democracy and will let something like this go on? How? It's impossible. You don't love humanity. You don't love none of it. It's all hypocrisy. Democracy is hypocrisy. Democracy is hypocrisy. And if you're not going to call it out, then let me call it out for you. Democracy is hypocrisy. And the biggest hypocrites are the people that are trying to put forth laws to not deal with their atrocities, to not deal with reality, to keep you insane, to want to gaslight us and perform like the narcissists that they are. A whole country full of narcissists. And for a lot of y'all, this is acceptable. Every white person under the sound of my voice should be on Ron DeSantis' ass. Let him know. He should be ostracized. You're not even welcome in a government where we're trying to supposedly unite the states and here you are trying to break them apart. You're not worthy. You're not fit to be a president. You're not fit to be a governor. You're not fit for nothing. And, and guess what? As quiet as it's kept, you got kids you got kids. And you're teaching your children how to be like. You're teaching, you want, you want to continue to perpetuate lies to kids. And if you can't lie to them because you know that the lies are too bad so they can be debunked, well then just take all the books out of school. Let's settle with that one. That's a recipe for disaster, America. It's a recipe for disaster. And Ron DeSantis, the Satan, the dog whistle, the... Listen. I got a kid, Ron DeSantis, age. And I wondered to myself, how in the hell could you be filled with so much hatred? You ain't even been on the planet that long. But you are. And people like you need to be dealt with. You need to be dealt with. Because we can this we can no longer America can no longer afford this kind of mindset. Either we gonna go together or we're gonna destroy this shit. You asking for it to be burnt down is what you do. You can't keep pushing people to the break and not trying to heal them or help them heal. You this does not where where they do this at? In America. And that's why it's a cesspool full of shit.
There I said it. You don't have to like. But if you like what you hear, family, please like, please subscribe, please share my channel. We're trying to grow this channel, and I appreciate every one of you again for being out there listening. It's going to get greater later. Just keep supporting, and I won't let you down. And with that being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe. Share the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.